April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Crisis groups are using this time to educate people and to offer advice on both pre preventative measures and help available for survivors. Turning Point is holding a special event to raise awareness. It's called Stepping Out with the Stars. Turning Point, based in Macomb, is a group providing services to help empower survivors of domestic and sexual violence. Their CEO joins us now, Sharman Davenport, with more. Good morning, Sharman. Good morning. Thank you for having me. And, and thank you so much for being here because this is a very important topic. Can you share with us a little bit more about Turning Point and how your organization helps others? Certainly. So Turning Point um, has been in existence now for about 41 years, and we provide comprehensive free services to survivors of domestic and sexual violence. We have a 24-hour hotline, a shelter, housing, forensic nurse examiners program, uh, counseling, preventive, preventive services, community education, just a you know, a number of services that we feel will be beneficial to survivors um, as they begin their journey of healing. Your signature fundraising event, Stepping Out with the Stars, is coming up here on the 29th of April. Can you tell us about this event and are tickets still available? Yes, tickets are still available. This is definitely our signature event. It promises to be a very fun and exciting evening for everyone. We will have a dance contest, just like you see, and you know, normally when we do, when somebody's doing Dancing with the Stars. Um, so it, there's celebrities from the community who go out and learn a routine and then um, provide that um, at our event. Um, it's, it's just a lot of fun and exciting. But then there's a serious side of it, right? Which is to make people aware of the pervasiveness of sexual assault and that and the impact that it has on the individual the family and the community at large um, so it's a great opportunity for us to to share this information and to get support for our services and our survivors at the same time and as we mentioned april is sexual assault awareness month why is it so important to have it this month and dedicate an entire month to bringing awareness to sexual assault I think that uh, sexual assault is usually something that people don't want to talk about, right? It's a very painful topic and it makes people feel uh, out of control and makes people feel, um, you know, sadness and fear. And so people shy away from that. But it's very important that as a community that we understand what sexual assault really means. We understand how it impacts you know, those around us, our neighbors, and our community at large. It's important because if we don't stand together as a community and start to shift the culture where sexual assault becomes unacceptable, then we will continue with this violence from now on, right? It's important that people come together and take a stand and decide that sexual degradation, uh, sexual violence, fear, control is not acceptable. And if you don't talk about it and you don't uh, start to understand some of the ways that we promote and um, continue these negative behaviors, then we will continue with the culture of sexual violence. So it is really our desire and our commitment to make people aware so that we can begin to have the discussions that will begin to dismantle uh, the violence and the oppression that um, many experience, which results in sexual violence or domestic violence. Well, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Any other upcoming events? Well, we do have an event on April 20th. It's called Consent Culture. And um, it is also one of our methods to help increase uh, the understanding about domestic, I mean, sexual assault. It makes sure that um, our young people and even our older people understand that consent is necessary in any type of sexual relationship. And we recognize that when you ask consent, it also means that you're looking to have a deeper understanding of your relationship. It creates a healthier relationship and ultimately will decrease uh, sexual violence. Sure. That event is on the 20th and you can go to our website, um, Turning Point Macomb and look for uh, other events that will be occurring this month in the area. 
Sharman, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Now, before we do let you go, we do want to let people know Turning Point's phone number, which has been shown on the bottom of your screen, is 586-463-6990. Everyone's healing path is, of course, very different, and anyone affected by sexual assault or domestic violence can call that number and be directed with a variety of services. So, Sharman, thank you again for being here with us. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Of thank course. You.